said no. The beast who? Who is the beast? The yeah. question is not who we are. The question is who are you? You know, though, I have this funny feeling. Nobody cares who the beast is. <laughs> you said funny feeling. Hey, you know, some funny feelings are good. Some funny feelings and not so good. This funny feeling, it's the bad kind. I don't really care who the beast is. I didn't think you did. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you. I come up here to New Jersey thinking, you know what? I'm going to go up on vacation. I'm going to have me a good time. What happens when I get up here? People are blowing up my phone. Hey, Alan Price, look, man. Some guy named the Beast has been cutting promos on you all over YouTube. You know what, though? But it's kind of easy to cut a promo when you have your little brother following you around with a little video camera all the time. <laughs> you know, unlike some people. Mm. Me and you. Okay. Yeah. You know, we have things we have to do. People want our time. They pay for our time. Mm -hmm. We don't have your little brother following us around with a camera. No. No. They call us and they set up a schedule. Yeah. So... You know, I go on the YouTube, and I look up this little promo that The Beast has shot. I have to say, I wasn't impressed. No. Not at all, actually. No, no. He did have a lot of hats. I mean, that impressed me a little bit. What about the one that fell off the wall? That that was funny. That was, that was, that was quite funny, actually. I give you, I give you credit. Yeah, I mean, I can't make a hat fall off a wall just like that. Toilet paper! You son of a... <laughs> hey, come on. The beast. My bad, my bad. Beast. You know what? Address your attention to me, the one and only Dylan Dollar who makes all the ladies holler. Okay, okay. I'll just say. You pinned me? One, two, three? I don't remember that. I don't know. Last time I checked, I've been in the state of New Jersey for the past six months. Give or take. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met this guy. The Beast. What? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wasn't he holding a sign in Asheville, North Carolina that says, In Dreaming of a Cheeseburger? Yes. You mean right on the side of the highway? Yes. Was that him? I mean, it looks like him. He's got the long hair and the beard. Right? You know, come to think of it, I believe you're right. That might have been him. Didn't we get that guy a cheeseburger? No. Why wouldn't we get him a cheeseburger? We got me a cheeseburger. We did. We got me a cheeseburger. Now, if you're going to bring it up, you got to tell him. It, be honest. It wasn't just a cheeseburger. Uh -huh. Did we turn around and take him to the movies? We don't go to movies. Movies come to us. That's right. Hmm. I know where I know him from. What do you know? Man? You see, he's running around calling himself the Beast. He's not a beast at all. Uh -huh. No. I went to high school with the guy. Yeah. You went to high school? On the days I actually decided to go, yes, I went to high school. Yeah, so overrated. Yeah, I mean, who needs school anyways? <sighs> but yeah. Professional went, wrestlers. I went to school with the guy. Yeah. Never was good at anything, so he just started calling himself Jesse Tampa. Jesse Tampa. Yeah, something about because he was born in Tampa, he decided to call himself Jesse Tampa. What's his real name? I don't know. Lloyd Christmas? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> We're getting off track here. 
Yeah, the Beast. Yeah, the Beast. Jesse Tampa. Or Jesse... Who cares? The point is this. Fit and Fluffy are in New Jersey. You say you don't have the time to face us because you have other things to do. Why don't you make time? And we'll see how many more videos you put up about me and Dylan Dollar. In the meantime, we're going to take a brief break. We're going to come back with uh, a lot more interesting junk, fit and fluffy junk. We'll be back after these few moments. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're back. Uh, what you just saw was North Star Productions, run and operated by Troy Austin. Uh, does the best videos in the Carolina area, maybe even farther. But you know, we uh, be a fit and fluffy. We decided to pimp the product, so big shout out to North Star Productions. Um, over the break, we uh, a little chit chat, you know, we got carried away. Just a little. Just. About the beast. Um, we really didn't introduce ourselves. A lot of you may know, some of you may not. So, um, first and foremost, my name is Dylan Dollar, the aka the fluffy ambassador, and I am Alan Price, the master of fitonomics. So, uh, now that we introduced ourselves. We're just gonna let you in on our wrestling story. So, uh, how'd you get into the business, dude? Why do I always have to go first? You're older. But you're fatter. Did you see that? Don't change the subject. I heard you call me fat. Do go ahead. Tell me. Let's see. How did Alan Price come to be? Whoa, 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 I know how graphic you get. We well, don't need to go there. Just strictly how'd you get into wrestling? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Well, you see, about four years ago... Damn, I didn't know you could count. The people I can't hear. Oh, like I said, four years ago, I was brought into the business by a guy named Randy Wayne. I, like many other independent wrestlers, started out as a mark. A fan. I started out as a fan. I sat in the crowd, and I talked shit. Like, you're supposed to do when you go to a wrestling show. Yeah. But <clears throat> the shit that I talked wasn't just about the wrestlers. It was mainly about the refs. I'm not going to name any names because some people get offended, but one mainly in particular was about twice your size. Oh. Is he the one that looks like Peter Griffin? Oh, he is. He is. That, nice. that would be yes. one in particular. Yeah. So, Randy Wayne tells me. He goes, well, if you think you can do a better job, why don't you? You know, I thought he was just messing around with me. Like, try me. So I'm sitting at home one day, and he calls me up. He says, hey, bro, you got your referee shirt yet? No. Like, well, you need to get one. You're refing tonight. Which blew me out of the water. Like, how am, you know, how am I supposed to do this, you know? I had no idea what was going on. He told me, he's like, dude, you need to get your shirt. You're reffing tonight. 
So, I went and got me a shirt. I stepped in the ring for a bunkhouse brawl between Randy Wayne and James Drake. One of the bloodiest matches I've still seen to date. <coughs> and I'm ref the match. That was at All Star Wrestling of the Carolinas, run by Big Daddy Z. I believe I was there. There's a very good possibility. Very good possibility. So I ref the match, go back to the back. Z pulls me aside. Says, hey kid, how long you been reffing? I said, it's my first match. <laughs> well, him like every other promoter that I've ran to, says, kid, you got some natural talent in you. So I go about the Carolina independent scene for the next three or so years. 2008 Carolina Referee of the Year, by the way. Yeah, you don't mean a two-year-old award, but. Two, two. So I go around wrestling all kinds of places. <clears throat> and people started to think I was getting an ego. <clears throat> and then it became real life that, hey, you're just a ref. You have no pull here. You don't know what you're talking about. So they started attacking me during the matches. Well, being just a referee, I had no idea what was going on. So, I had to accept it. Well, one promoter in particular, Gary Benfield says, man, you've got some good ideas. We sat down and we talked. I helped him write some stuff up. He says, man, You've got a great mind for the business. Why don't you become my general manager? Well, I happily took the job and I became the general manager for High Velocity Wrestling. Well, as a general manager, people still didn't like the authority that I had. And it became that they were attacking me even with a management position. That's when it all changed, though, because I met this man right here. Me? Yeah, you, me? yeah. Me? And when I met this man, he told me, like, man, you're too big to be letting them push you around like that. And I told him, I said, Dylan. What am I supposed to do? I don't know how I'm supposed to have my own back while I'm trying to run a company. And that's when Dylan Dollar took my back. He said, I'll watch your back. I'll make sure nobody jumps you from behind. From there, we started training said, I'm going to get you in that ring so you can get payback on the ones who did you wrong. And thus, Alan Price was born. Or touch me. Right here. In your testicles? PG-13. I said chesticles. Okay, okay, okay. Very good story. Um, we're going to take another break. We'll be right back. We're going to hear more about Fit and Fluffy. Peace.